Right, and seeing uh, Senator Chris Murphy talk that way, you know, Murphy is you know one of the Democrats who's who's going to lead with you know diplomacy first. Like that's that's the kind of camp that he's in. To, so seeing him even taking that harder line suggests that across the political spectrum, there's some real saber rattling you know, going going on here. But what what is a what would be a diplomatic resolution to this that you think is within the realm of possibility that people like Murphy ought to be pursuing instead? Now, I'll tell you what makes the most sense for the United States, for NATO, and frankly, even for Ukraine, is that Ukraine needs to declare neutrality. They need to say, hey, we're not going to become part of Russia. We're not going to become part of any kind of new, you know, CIS, they used to call it. Uh, but they're also not going to be part of NATO. So they want to be able to, like Finland, they, they are part of the EU, but they are neutrality in terms of, of security. And Putin has indicated that that would be acceptable to him because their issue is security on their border. And they're just not going to allow uh, any kind of a NATO force to be on their border, which they have proven in 2008 in Georgia and in 2014 by helping the separatists in Ukraine. And if, it, if we keep pushing, it doesn't help our security. It doesn't help Ukraine. All it's going to do is hasten and give Putin a reason to cross into the border. We just don't need to help them do that. Let's keep peace. And who, who's more to blame for NATO taking that hard line, NATO or, or the U.S.? And how, you know, wh where's the pressure point to get NATO to, to back off and say, all right, look, we don't need a war here. Let's, let's, let's allow neutrality here. Yeah, the, the, the problem is, I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It's hubris and arrogance. We, we think that because we want to, we can, and we can just do it because we say we, sh we prefer it. And so we want to go on a policy that's our preference, not something that's based in reality. And the reality is we do not need Ukraine for our security or for the rest of NATO, for that matter, because we already have a pretty strong NATO wall very close to, well, right up against Ukraine territory. So Russia is not going to be able to do anything beyond that, even if they wanted to. So we just have to have a foreign policy that's based on reality, not just on what we want. Yeah.